Okay, so uh, this is your um, video to show uh, what the um, what the uh, practicum how it should work, and uh, I did modify it just a hair. Uh, but anyway, so first I'm going to reset it because I already did this, and then uh, so now I added this one. You don't have to do this, but this was really helpful to debug it, and I put the the state that I'm in in here and I only needed I think three states or four states something like that four states I guess so let me put in um, let's put in three okay and we'll um, so we'll we'll hit the center button and enter this in it's because of the one second clock it takes a little bit and also I I made the state change on the negative edge but I made the this input go in on the positive edge Maybe I should have made them on the same edge, but anyway, that's what I did. Uh, and then, uh, so then maybe I'll do, so that was five, and then maybe I'll do seven, or eh, let's do eight. What the heck? One, two, three, four. We'll do eight. So again, uh, the second digit. Now that shows up there. So I have eight is the second digit. The di first digit was five. So th those added together should be 13. And let me, uh, and then uh, just so we have, uh, 16 we should get one zero for that in hex okay so I'm gonna so so uh, so 8 and 5 is 13 so I need 3 for 16 so I'll put in 3 here and um, put that down now this one takes the top but the up button the U button and we get 10 hex R 16 uh, and then when we're ready to do it again, we just hit the right button, it resets. Now if we if we get started, say, and we put in, you know, say a three, but we want to reset, we can reset now and uh, start over. Uh, so the reset button works at any time. Um, so a couple of caveats. Uh, one is uh, you should display the sum in hex and not in... Uh, not in decimal unless you want to do binary coded decimal math or unless you want to do a, a binary to uh, decimal conversion which can be a little tricky uh, maybe not so bad for two digits that can't be any bigger than 27 but still it's a it's a bit of a pain in the butt I might do it just for grins but anyway so that's where we are uh, so if you get something close to this you're fine you don't have to do this one uh, I just added that because I already had all those. I'm already displaying all the digits. I'm just blanking the ones we're not using. And because of that, I thought, well, I might as well display the state I'm in. And it turned out it helped me a lot to debug. Because I did my if statements a little goofy, I got stuck. Um, I got stuck in a couple of states. And, and I, and I, yeah, it was kind of crazy. But, you know, I finally figured it out. Okay, so... Uh, I will put out. I'll put out some starter code maybe uh, Saturday or Sunday uh, to give you a little bit of a he you know a leg up if you're still having trouble. I will also put out. Uh, I'll, I'll put the constraint file. Uh, I'll put out a constraint file uh, also with this video. All right. With that, I'm going to quit.